Instructions for winterizing your above ground pool. Winterizing your pool properly is critical because your pool water will not be circulated for the next several months. Water chemistry is important to the longevity of your liner and any other parts that water comes in contact with during this period. For example, copper or iron in your water can stain your liner. Improper pH may be very destructive and corrosive to the pool and its equipment. Algae will be easier to get rid of now than in the spring. Approximately 48 hours prior to closing your above ground pool, bring in one quart of your pool water to our store for analysis. Please utilize our free water test bottle or use a clean plastic container. Do not use empty chemical containers. Also, bring a list of your chemicals that you have at home. If you have a solar blanket, remove by slowly lifting it over the edge of the pool, being careful not to catch or tear it. Rinse any debris off of the blanket. Use Teddy Bear Cover Cleaner to clean and deodorize it before storing for the winter. Gently brush the cleaner over the entire surface. Rinsing is not necessary, but leaving the cleaner on the surface will reduce odors and protect the cover. Fold the cover carefully and store in a Rubbermaid 20 or 30 gallon tub with a lid. It should not be stored in a shed or garage where ants or mice may destroy it. Vacuum your pool of debris and remove leaves with a leaf net because they can stain your liner. Clean your liner above the water line with Bear Buster. Place a small amount of cleaner on a pool scrubber available in our retail store and gently rub at a circular motion. This will remove harmful dirt, grease, suntan lotions, and air pollutants. Do not use corrosive home cleaning agents. You should now add all of the chemicals from your teddy bear winterizing kit. It does not matter what order you were adding them, as long as your filter is running and they are added separately. Bear Algae Alt. This is a broad spectrum, non-foaming algicide used to inhibit algae from growing. Add directly by walking around the perimeter of the pool surface. Bear Magnet. This is a chelating agent that is used to tie up minerals such as copper and iron so that they may be filtered out, thus preventing staining of your swimming pool liner. Bear Shock. This chemical kills bacteria and algae. Fill a plastic bucket with water, then add bear shock and stir it in with a wooden stick. Add by walking around the perimeter of the pool, pouring slowly to avoid splashing. If any shock remains on your pool bottom, brush it until it dissolves. Try to circulate the pool water approximately one to two hours by operating the pump and filter to evenly distribute the winter chemical treatment. If you have an aquador system, it is not necessary to lower your water level below the skimmer. Start by placing the aquador in warm water to make the door more pliable. Snap the door over the lip on the skimmer faceplate. Splash cold water on the door to cool the plastic. This will make a better seal by shrinking the plastic. If you have an ice plate, install it by removing only the screws on the skimmer faceplate, which correspond to the holes in the ice plate. Do not remove the white faceplate. Sandwich the foam gasket in between the faceplate and the ice plate, then reinstall the screws. If you have a fiber optic light, unscrew the light fixture from the outside of the pool, then install a threaded plug. Now remove the clear dome fitting from inside your pool. And install another threaded plug. Finally, remove the threaded plug from outside your pool. Remove the eyeball return fitting. The fitting may come out in pieces or as one assembly. You may need to use a plastic key to remove it. These are available from our parts department. Install either a threaded plug or winter cap inside the pool as required. Make sure the rubber O-ring or gasket is in place and not split or cracked. Drain the filter tank and pump completely free of water. Disconnect the hose from your skimmer to your pump. Disconnect the hose from your filter to your chlorinator if you have one. Disconnect the hose from your filter or chlorinator to your return fitting. If you have a sand filter, backwash your filter. Remove the drain plug. 
move the valve handle to the winter or closed position. If possible, remove the valve. Disconnect the hoses from the filter system and the pool. If possible, move your filter inside. Now, turn off the electricity to your pump. Disconnect the ground wire. Disconnect the union from between the pump and filter. Remove the pump and filter from the base. Remove the ladder from the deck flanges. To remove the drop-in stairs, remove the handrail from the deck flange and steps. Remove the sandbags from the stairs. Carefully raise the stairs out of the pool, being cautious not to drag against the liner. You should remove the flanges, which secure the ladder or stairs to the deck to prevent wear or damage to your cover. Bring the motor pump, filter, hoses, ladders, and any other accessories out of the weather. Do not store any of your equipment with your chemicals. Try to store your filter and accessories in your cellar. Inflate the pillow three quarters full of air by using a wet, dry vacuum, air compressor, or a hair dryer with a cold setting. Always use cold air. Hot air will cause your pillow to deflate. We suggest you inflate the pillow the day before you close your pool to check for leaks. Secure the pillow in the pool with kite string. The pillow does not have to be in the center of your pool and it may deflate during the winter. Now, carefully place the cover on the pool, black side down. Secure the cover by threading the cable through the loops or grommets as shown. Do not thread under the skimmer or return fitting. If you have a walk deck, thread the cable under the deck to the other side. Once your cable has been threaded around the pool, feed both ends through the ratchet as shown. Turn the ratchet until the cable is tight around the pool. Use water bags to secure the cover on your deck. Fill water bags two-thirds full and do not drag them when moving. Do not suspend water jugs from the cover to secure it. If damage to the cover occurs due to the use of water jugs, it will not be covered under warranty. Cover clips may also be used by attaching them to the top seat of the pool. To prevent wind damage, add a small amount of water onto the cover to add weight. If you have a DE or cartridge filter, now would be a good time to clean and degrease it. For more information on cleaning your filter, please view the filter operation chapter specific to your type of filter. Teddy Bear Pools also offers this service for a fee. You can bring your filter in and pick it up when it is ready, or have our service department pick it up and deliver it back to you. Remember to always read and follow label instructions on pool chemicals and products. Winterizing guidelines for above ground pools. The homeowner's off season responsibilities. Covers are not 100% water barriers. Water seepage is a normal occurrence. Remove excess water, anything more than three inches, from the cover during the off season. If you use an electric pump, make sure you put a Frisbee or similar object under the pump. If you don't, you may draw pool water through the cover. You should also remove the leaves from the cover before the first freeze. If they remain on top, they will rot and seep through the cover and contaminate your pool. Do not allow excess weight to collect on the cover because the water under the cover will become displaced, resulting in the loss of chemically treated water in the pool. Damage to your cover may occur. Debris from the cover may fall into the pool water if the cover tears or is pulled into the pool. Save the receipt from your winter cover this will be needed if you need to warranty a cover. Do not wrap the winter cover over the skimmer on above ground pools. This may cause damage to the structure of the pool. Store the pump and filter inside your cellar over the winter. This will prolong the filter life and prevent it from cracking. Do not store filter systems and pool accessories with pool chemicals. This will cause oxidation to the equipment. Install ice plates or aqua doors on above ground pool skimmers. This allows the water to stay at half skimmer upon closing. Do not use chlorine floaters over the winter. This can bleach out liners during the winter. 
And finally, do not close pools before the water is properly balanced.